This week in Jamaica now, missing teachers college lecturer found murdered in Clarendon. A mother's pain, a two-year-old girl is killed in a hit and run. Triple killings rock Belfield in Manchester. Court orders that businessman faces trial for the 1973 alleged sexual assault of his daughter. And Bujo's hotel room raided in Trinidad. The police commissioner says sorry. I'm Damian Mitchell and this is Jamaica Now. The Clarendon police say they are at an advanced stage in their probe into the abduction and murder of St. Joseph's Teachers College lecturer Samuel Martin. Martin's decomposing body was found on Thursday in Juno Crescent on the outskirts of the capital, Maypen. He was reported missing on Good Friday after taking his niece to Mandeville from the airport in Kingston. An alarm was triggered from Martin's car and a security guard tracked it to Juno Crescent. The keys and car documents of the 41-year-old lecturer were missing. Investigators say people in Juno Crescent had information about Martin's abduction and withheld it. They also say the decomposing body had been doused in gasoline to mask the smell. Meanwhile, the community of Top Belfield in Manchester was in shock on Tuesday following the triple murder of a family at their house. The deceased had been identified as 55-year-old Uriah Morgan, also called Bolly, his common-law wife Mabel, and her son, 22-year-old Odine Stevenson. The bodies were found approximately 7.30 a.m. by a family friend. Each body had gunshot wounds. The police say no one heard or saw anything and no motive has yet been determined for the killings. And there was more pain this week after a two-year-old child was killed along the Sir Howard Cook Boulevard in Montego Bay, St. James. Little Sasha Gay Dennis died on the spot while her 10-year-old sister was hurt in the crash. They were crossing the street with their mother and their two siblings when they were hit by a Nissan Note motor car that overtook the vehicle allowing them passage. The driver fled the scene but on Thursday surrendered to the police in Morant Bay, St. Thomas. A family in mourning is threatening to take legal action against the Spanish Town Hospital in St. Catherine for causing the body of a relative to be held in storage for more than a year because it failed to issue a burial order. Damfell Daly Morris, a sister of the deceased 67-year-old Winston Daly, said the hospital has been giving the family the runaround since April 2018. She said to compound the family's grief, they are now faced with a storage fee of $320,000, not inclusive of burial charges. According to Daly Morris, the family wants the hospital to cover the storage fee because her brother would have been laid to rest a long time ago had it not been for the hospital's negligence. Meanwhile, a policeman attached to the Spanish Town Police Station has reputed the hospital's claim that the burial permit was delayed because the cops failed to complete their investigation. The Health Minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton, has revealed that two weeks ago, a young child turned up at the Hospital Hospital in Montego Bay, St. James, with complications arising from measles he contracted overseas. But the minister is insisting that it was not an imported case of the virus, as the child was out of the window where the virus would have been contagious. Tufton made the disclosure in the House of Representatives after the opposition spokesman on health, Dr. Dayton Campbell, insisted that there was an imported case of measles in Jamaica. In the meantime, the health minister says over the past few years, there has been a fall-off in take-up of measles vaccines. He says there has been an 89% coverage up to last year, which means more children would be at risk of contracting the virus. In order to stop the disease from spreading, 95% of children in Jamaica need to be fully vaccinated with the two doses of MMRI at 12 months and MMRI 2, MMRI 1 at 12 months and MMR 2 at 18 months. The Constitutional Court has ordered that well-known Montego Bay businessman Patrick Chung must stand trial for allegedly having sex with his daughter over a nine-year period. The alleged sexual assault began in 1976 when the complainant was 13 years old. Chung is charged with six counts of incest and five counts of indecent touching. The three-member panel in a 2-1 majority decision ordered that the trial must begin before year end. Failing this, the judges ordered that the charges must be permanently stayed unless any delay in meeting this deadline is caused by the businessman. Chung is now 78 years old. He was arrested and charged in April 2012, almost six months after his daughter, who was 49 years old at the time, first filed the complaint. After appearing before the circuit court nine times and still no trial, Chung went to the Constitutional Court seeking to have the charges stayed. He argued that the 34-year wait to have his day in court would prejudice or is likely to prejudice his right under the Jamaican Constitution to a fair trial within a reasonable time. 
The Organized Crime and Intelligence Unit of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is to be overhauled after a search of the hotel room of reggae artist Bojo Banton. Bojo was in Trinidad for the I Am Legend concert. The Trinidadian Guardian reports that Police Commissioner Gary Griffith said the decision to search Banton's hotel room could have started a feud between Kingston and Port of Spain. And Griffith announced the revamping of the unit, saying while he had been contemplating it before, the embarrassment of Banton's raid made it an absolute necessity. Hours after the raid, the commissioner met with Buju and apologized. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Damian Mitchell and before we go, the Health Ministry has issued a measles alert for Jamaica following an outbreak in New York. Here are some things you should know about the virus.